All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to cover a beautiful limit recommended to me by a subscriber, namely the limit as x goes to infinity of x squared ln of one plus one over x to the two thirds times arctangent of cube root of x plus one minus arctangent of cube root of x minus one. And as mentioned, this has been recommended to me by a subscriber, Giovanni Petrone. And the beautiful thing is he was taking at that time an analysis course with Nicola Fusco, who is a huge name in my field. That's why I was like, I have to cover this. It's also a beautiful problem, but it's more for Nicola Fusco. Okay, so, and notice there are three parts to this limit. There's this x squared, this ln part, and this arctangent part. And so we will cover all this separately. So step one, okay, x squared, we'll deal with this at the end, but let's focus on ln of one plus one over x to the two thirds. Well, this looks a lot like ln of one plus something. So let's just use a Taylor expansion because ln of one plus x is x minus x squared over two plus x cubed over three, et cetera, et cetera. And here, let's just focus on the first term, so x. So ln of one plus one over x to the two thirds, that is one over x to the two thirds plus some small junk. <laughs> So today I'll put a very non-rigorous applied math cap on because you'll see otherwise it's quite hard to do. Okay, so basically ln of this is one over x to the two thirds. And now let's focus on the arctangent part. So arctangent of cube root of x plus one minus arctangent of cube root of x minus one so I tried to Taylor expand it first. I got a little bit stuck, but remember, I didn't know that, but remember that there is a formula for differences of arctangent because arctangent of A minus arctangent of B, they settle their difference and this becomes arctangent of A minus B over one plus AB. So in this case, this is arctangent of um, you know, cube root of x, so x plus one uh, to the one third minus cube root of x minus one over one plus, again, cube root of x plus one, cube root of x minus one. Okay. And now we can use the Taylor expansion of arctangent because Remember arctangent of x, that is x minus x cubed over three plus x to the fifth over five, et cetera, et cetera. But again, who cares? Let's just focus on the first term. So this equals, <laughs> this equals to this thing, x plus one to the one third uh, minus x minus one to the one third. This is so humiliating, but anyway. So one plus x plus one, to the one third and an x minus one to the one third. And now I also didn't believe this, but there is a formula for difference of cubes. I had to look this one up for in Wikipedia, but cube root of A minus cube root of B, that is A minus B over, again, cube root of A plus, so not cube root, A to the two thirds. So cube root of A squared, a to the two thirds plus cube root of AB plus uh, cube root, so B to the two thirds. And you can get this simply by cross multiplying. So it's not too bad. Uh, all right, so in this case, what we get, so this becomes, so uh, this numerator X plus one minus X minus one over so in this case, x plus one to the two thirds plus, if you want, x plus one to the one third, x minus one to the one third, and then plus x minus one to the two thirds. We divide this. And remember, it's divided by one plus this chunk. 
one third, so and then x minus one to the one third. All right, very good. And notice now the nice thing, the numerator simplifies. That just becomes two. And now we'll do something even more embarrassing because if x goes to infinity, well, x plus one is kind of x, x minus one is kind of x. So this is again, becomes roughly yeah, equal to two over x to the two thirds plus x to the one third, x to the one third plus x to the two thirds over one plus x to the one third, x to the one third. And then notice what's happening here. This one is nice. That's like x to the two thirds plus x to the two thirds plus x to the two thirds. It's like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh no. And this becomes three times x to the two thirds divided by one plus x to the two thirds. And then you can simplify this and you'll see, Nicola Fusco is a very smart cookie, or should I say a very smart Oreo? Because then this becomes two over x, three times x to the two thirds times one plus x to the two thirds. But again, x goes to infinity, so we neglect this one and we get two thirds, x to the two thirds, x to the two thirds. And that becomes two over uh, three x to the four thirds. Okay, and now let's go back to our limit. So step three, because remember there was this x squared term, which turns out is essential here. So limit x goes to infinity of x squared ln of one plus one over x to the two thirds times arctangent of cube root of x plus one minus arctangent of cube root of x minus one that becomes limit x goes to infinity x squared. Now remember this ln, because of first order Taylor expansion, we said that's just roughly equal to uh, one over x to the two thirds. And this one, we literally just said that is two thirds times one over x to the four thirds. Now let's look at the denominators. It's quite nice. So this becomes two thirds times limit x goes to infinity of x squared times one over x to the two thirds plus four thirds. But two thirds plus four thirds, that's precisely x squared. So two thirds plus four thirds, that's two. So it's x squared times one over x squared. And now it precisely cancels out to indeed get in the end that this is two thirds. So this is the limit. And again, thank you, Giovanni, for recommending this to me. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.